In this next segment, we're going to insert your voice into your PowerPoint slide. Why would you do this? Well, good PowerPoint design means you haven't put too much text on the screen. Maybe they're bullet points or maybe they are key phrases. And therefore, they do need to be expanded on and explained in full. And an audio would be a good way to do this. To do that, though, it's pretty straightforward. Look at the top menu, select insert the ribbon changes and on the extreme right hand side you'll see there's a section called audio so you click on audio there are two options if you've recorded the audio with your phone for example and have now added the file to the pc then or the laptop then you can uh, simply upload the file into the document but it's more likely you want to use the mic on the laptop to record your audio so select record audio a little dialog box appears. It asks, do you want to give it a name? So you can. And you'll notice that there are some controls directly below. The little red circle is your record button. So now you can click it and begin the recording. Insert your own voice. Select Insert from the top menu. Select Audio from the right-hand side of the... When you have completed your recording, the other button that is now coloured is the Stop button. So you can push the Stop button, and you'll notice then that recording has ceased, and but there is a little Play button. So you can click on the Play button, and it should play it back to you, so you can hear if you like it. Once you do like it, you can say OK. You'll now notice that there is a little grey speaker icon and you can position this anywhere you like on your screen. The controls that the student will use are at the bottom here. But you now have two further options. You can decide that the audio will only play if the student clicks the icon or you can say, no, I want it to run continuously. To do that, you right click it. You will notice that you have some additional tools now at the top. One is style. Select style and if you want it to play automatically, choose play in the background.